This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. Finalists for the UW Lacrosse Chancellor position have been released. UW President Jay Rothman making that announcement of the three finalists earlier this morning. They are current interim Chancellor Betsy Morgan, James Beebe from Keene State College, and Christopher Olson from Indiana State University. Rothman says the finalists were selected by a special regent committee. The finalists will now take part in campus forums next week, allowing everyone the chance to interact with them and provide feedback to the special committee. The search for a new chancellor comes after former Chancellor Joe Gao was fired for producing online pornography with his wife. There's more information on the three finalists on the UW Lacrosse website. We have that link for you on our digital platforms. Get out and read. That's the goal of Northwood International School's celebration of Read Across America. Read Across America is the largest annual celebration of reading in the country. As part of that, Northwood Elementary students and Logan High School students are working together to complete a book walk. That is an outdoor reading activity that combines the enjoyment of reading with physical activity. This year's featured book is Woosh by Chris Barton. And Winona State University is promoting the world of STEM to area high schoolers. STEM in the Real World is a program WSU is piloting to show high schoolers that STEM is a viable career path. Today, five high schools are visiting the university to get a snapshot of different STEM pathways like statistics and geoscience. The students will hear from seven different departments in the College of Science and Engineering. The dean of the college says it's important for high schoolers to figure out if they want to go into STEM early because the classes they take in high school can give them a jump start in college. Hey, good Friday afternoon to another uh, mainly sunny day as you can see through city cam. We had a few clouds earlier this morning, but now uh, lots of blue sky and sunshine. Uh, city cam kind of shaking a little bit. Another breezy day across the region, but mild fire danger remains elevated again. Whenever we have not had the green up yet, we have breezy conditions or windy conditions and we haven't had a lot of precipitation. Suffice it to say that this time of year the fire danger is elevated. Record warmth possible this weekend and uh, today's highs won't be too bad either uh, into the 50s. Again, lots of sunshine across the tri-state area. Any significant cloud cover as well to our south and east. Current temperatures 51 in Eau Claire, 52 in Black River Falls, 52 in Winona, 51 in La Crosse. 46 in Barroqua and 49 in Prairie du Chien. Lots of sun, mild, but another breezy day. Highs in the cross around 56. And check out this weekend, uh, 63 tomorrow, 71 potentially on Sunday. That would be record or near record warmth both days. Could see some thunder showers late Sunday or Sunday night. We'll talk more details about that with my eight day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. All right, we'll see you then, Bill. Thank you. Two weeks after his death in a remote Arctic penal colony, 47-year-old Alexei Navalny, the face of Russia's opposition movement, is finally laid to rest. Navalny's family and allies say they faced hurdle after hurdle just to get to this day. And as the Kremlin continues to crack down on critics of Vladimir Putin, any attendees could face detention. But still, about 1,000 people lined the streets of Moscow this morning to bid Navalny farewell. His wife warned mourner, mourners earlier this week. I'm not sure yet whether it will be peaceful or whether the police will arrest those who have come to say goodbye to my husband. This morning, riot police assembled outside the church to put down any protests while barriers line the perimeter. That funeral service has now finished. Navalny's coffin now headed to the cemetery. The official death certificate says he died from natural causes, but his wife believes he was poisoned in prison. The timing is notable. Russia's presidential election just two weeks away. Vladimir Putin is expected to win, keeping him in power till 2030. And back in the United States, firefighters in Texas desperately working to contain those massive wildfires that have killed at least two people. Jason Allen is outside Amarillo with the latest. The Smokehouse Creek Fire is now the largest in Texas history and has burned more than one million acres since Monday. It looked like Armageddon. It looked like the end of the world. In Fritch, Ryan Hightower says she and her family almost didn't make it out of their house in time. We no longer got off of our street that the entire street was engulfed. So in a matter of seconds. Hightower returned to this. Her home is among dozens that burned to the ground 
just in Fritch. And the danger is not over yet as firefighters continue to battle the flames helped temporarily by snow and freezing temperatures. My three year old, uh, this will be her bedroom. Tyler McCain and his family are still trying to figure out what's next after their trailer home burned down. I want your house. You want your house? <laughs> that was his three year old daughter's teary reaction to the sad news. And that pain is shared by so many here now facing a tremendous task ahead. It's heartbreaking, not just for me and my family, but all the other families <laughs> that have lost. We're a tight community, and I know we're going to pull through this. It's just going to take time. More help from state and federal fire teams is expected here in the area today. That's in part so that the local crews that have come here from around the state to help out can get back to their local communities ahead of the fire friendly weather conditions expected in the next couple of days. Also today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is expected to be here in the panhandle for a press conference. Jason Allen, CBS News in Fritch, Texas. And in Washington, Republicans are voting in the district's GOP presidential primary at the same hotel where former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley will be trying to win over last-minute support. Donald Trump winning every state that has voted so far. Haley, though, holding out hope that moderates will give her a boost in D.C. And on Tuesday, when 15 states hold their primary elections, she campaigned in Virginia yesterday trying to make the case that she has a better chance of beating President Joe Biden in November. Got to ask yourself if all these early states, if 30 to 40 percent of the people are not voting for him, how do you win a general election? But Trump is leading in polls of the Super Tuesday states when more than a third of delegates needed to win the GOP nomination will be up for grabs. Trump and Biden held dueling events yesterday in Texas, about 300 miles apart along the U.S.-Mexico border. A new Gallup poll out this week shows immigration is the top concern facing the U.S. among those surveyed. Well, how much would you pay to watch Caitlin Clark potentially shatter the NCAA scoring record? We'll reveal just how expensive tickets are getting for her shot at history after the break. If you're ready for a new kitchen, then you owe it to yourself to visit the board store during the 2024 Early Bird Home Show. This is the design center where our designers put it all together for you. Visit our flooring showroom, see all of the possibilities. Visit our kitchen showroom and see all of the styles that are available to you. Then return here and put in your countertops, put in your fixtures, put in your knobs and design that kitchen that's just right for you during the Early Bird Home Show only at the board store. Call or visit soon. Want luxury hair repair that doesn't cost $50? Pentine's Pro Vitamin Formula repairs hair, as well as the leading luxury bonding treatment for softness and resilience without the price tag. If you know, you know it's Pantene. Sometimes Jonah wrestles with falling asleep, so he takes ZQuil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, and wakes up feeling like himself. Get the rest to be your best with non habit forming ZQuil. Better days start with ZQuil Nights. It's High V's Mega Meat Sale this Friday through Sunday. Fresh ground beef, just $1.98 for a one-pound roll. Jimmy Dean bacon, just $2.99. Pork loin back ribs, just $2.98 a pound. Bone-in pork shoulder roast, just $1.68 a pound. Eight-ounce America's Cut chops, three for just $5. And hy V quality deli ham, just $4.99 a pound. Don't miss the mega meat sale this Friday through Sunday, only at hy V. When we at Riverbank made our new youth savings account, we wanted to learn more about how kids thought about money. So we went right to the source. Our first question was, how much money do your parents spend in a year? $16. Okay. 25. More than 100. 105. 3,000. Riverbank. Local banking made simple. at 3 on News 8.
The IRS says it's cracking down on high income people who've not filed taxes in more than 100,000 cases since 2017. The agency says the non filers are believed to owe hundreds of millions of dollars. Thousands of compliance letters will be sent out this week. It's unclear exactly how many people will be impacted. Iowa women's basketball fans hoping to catch their star player Caitlin Clark should be prepared to shell out some serious cash. Clark has a shot at breaking the NCAA's all-time scoring record Sunday, currently held by former LSU guard Pete Maravich. The game could become the most expensive in women's college basketball history, with some resale tickets going for over $6,000 on Ticketmaster as of last night. Yesterday, Clark also declared herself eligible for the 2024 WNBA draft. Have you visited Chick-fil-A recently? If so, you'll want to listen to this. The chicken giant is urging customers to throw out any Polynesian sauce packets they may have brought home between February 14th and the 27th. That's because they may contain a different sauce that could affect people with wheat or soy allergies. So far, no illnesses or allergic reactions have been reported. That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. I'm Kelly Wild. It's 102.7 WKBH. When my grandmother passed away, my mom gifted me with her a Bohemian cookbook. I found one recipe for a soup, and written on top of it, in my grandmother's beautiful handwriting, was, she really loves this. So I cook up a small batch, bring it over to my mom, and she says, what is this? I said, it's your favorite soup from Grandma Paulda's cookbook. Then my mom said, she would make this for her dog, Ginger, when she couldn't go to the bathroom. Bother the bugs, not your family. Zevo is made with essential oils which attack bugs' biological systems. It wipes cleanly, plus is safe for use around people and pets. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. Ooh, stuffed up again? So congested. You need Sinex saline from Vicks. Just Sinex, breathe. <sighs> what is, wow. Sinex, breathe. Ah. <sighs> I want to play and be silly and fun. I'm like in it with you. Don't stop, we're just getting started. Hit hard, yeah, hit in the party. This how we do it. I'm so in love with you, I can't handle it. Oh my god. Did we just become best friends? Let's make it happen, Kevin. Weekdays at 3 on News 8. In your medical news, alarming new statistics show obesity rates both here at home and around the world are going in the wrong direction. More than 1 billion people globally now living with obesity, according to a new analysis published in The Lancet. Rates among children and teens increased four times from 1990 to 2022. In the U.S., the obesity rate more than doubled for both men and women. One study author warns major global issues like climate change, the COVID pandemic, and the war in Ukraine risk making the health issue even worse. Alcohol-related deaths on the rise in the United States. The CDC says there were about 178,000 deaths from excessive alcohol use from 2020 to 2021. That's a 29% increase from five years earlier. The report also found more men die from excessive alcohol use than women, but women are starting to close that gap. And a CDC analysis of the effectiveness of this year's or this season's flu vaccine shows getting immunized reduced the risk of flu related hospitalizations by 40% in adults, the reduction even higher in children by nearly 50%. Doctor visits also significantly reduced. Those were some of today's top health headlines. Here's a look now at CityCam 8. Bill is up next with our forecast.
Whether you are looking for a lake home, a second home, or your first home, let Town & Country Housing introduce you to quality living in our factory-built homes. Town & Country Housing has homes that will meet your style and budget. Tour our model homes to see how spacious and grand living can be when you let us reinvent your space. Our homes are built with energy efficiency in mind and environmentally friendly products. You pick your dream home and we take care of the rest. Your dream home is waiting. Come personalize your amenities and start living your best life. Town & Country Housing, Chippewa Falls. You know, in my lifetime, I've been knocked around a few times. No matter how many times you get knocked down, hell, you got to get up off the turf. Back pain, knee pain, you name it, I had it. But when I walked into the Good Feet store and got fitted for arch support, I feel so much better. Very little pain in my back. I feel no pain in my knee. It is nothing like it. No matter who you are, whatever position you hold, in some way, we can help somebody. And that's what the Good Feet store does. They help you keep going with life. In 2001, my father established La Crosse Fireplace Company. Since then, our family has had the privilege of helping families create a warm, gathering place in their home. Today, my brother Jeremy and I are the second generation to carry on the values and traditions that was started 23 years ago. Whether it's a remodel or a new installation, La Crosse Fireplace Company looks forward to serving you for many years to come. La Crosse Fireplace Company, because your place is by the fire. Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. Download the News 8000 app today. Happy Friday. Welcome back. And it is March 1st, so we've wrapped up the month of February. So let's take a look at the numbers, and it should be no surprise that it was very warm and very dry. Here are the high temperatures again only on the 16th and this past Wednesday on the uh, 28th. The only two days with a below average high temperature. I've never seen anything like that. And I've been showing these graphics for many, many years. And that 69 that we had on Tuesday of this week, uh, again, the warmest temperature ever recorded in February and tied with December 15th of uh, 2021. That's when we had the severe weather and the tornadoes uh, for the warmest temperature ever during meteorological winter. So that includes December and January as well. So when you average out all the temperatures and all the numbers for the month. Here's the data, 35.4 degrees for the average temp. That is over 12 degrees above average. Second warmest February on record, second only to 1878 with an average temperature of 36.7. Precipitation only just over a quarter inch. So that's 0.91 inches below average, tied for the 14th driest February on record. And snowfall, yeah, what snowfall? 1.3 inches, that is 8.4 inches below average. Eighth least snowiest February on record in La Crosse. Just an incredible uh, month of uh, very warm and dry data. All right, we're starting March much the same. Blue sky, sunshine, breezy though. 52 the high so far today, 35 the low, well above those averages of 38 and 20. Record in La Crosse stays safe. That's 62 in 1992, but Eau Claire, your record high today is only 55, so that could be uh, flirted with in a few hours. 51 degrees at the airport, 50 downtown. There's those winds out of the south, 20 to 26 miles per hour. And uh, again, that's keeping the uh, fire danger elevated. 51 for you folks in Eau Claire and your winds also strong. Southerly 16 gusting to 23 miles per hour. So you're only four degrees away from tying that record in Eau Claire. Even milder temperatures uh, along the uh, high plains and the front range of the Rockies, but locally temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s and winds are gusty, sustained to 15 to 25, gusting 25 to uh, even almost 40 miles per hour in parts of southeastern Minnesota. So all is quiet, dry conditions across the region, plenty of sunshine, but breezy conditions from the south, as you saw, and SkyTracker shows those condi uh, conditions continue this afternoon and then tonight mostly clear and more of the same this weekend. Windy conditions from the south, but uh, temperatures remain mild and we remain dry just a little bit more in the way of cloud cover starting to increase on Sunday in advance of a cold front. Temperatures today though, mid 50s for highs right around 56 in La Crosse, uh, low to mid 50s down to the south, pretty much all 65 of our communities here topping out between about 50 
and 56 degrees. So a nice day temperature wise if you can deal with the breezy conditions. 56, lots of sunshine in La Crosse. Tonight, cool but not cold, lows around 35. Look at tomorrow, 63, 70 plus degrees for the first time this year on Sunday. Cold front brings that chance of thunder showers late in the day or Sunday night. Some lingering showers on Monday and then mainly dry Tuesday through Thursday, low to mid 50s next week. And another system could bring some precip on Friday and Saturday with highs in the 40s. And don't forget daylight saving time begins uh, early Sunday morning on March 10th. So mild conditions continue for at least the first eight days of February or March, I should say, Alexandra. All right, we've got that to look forward to. Thank you, Bill. Well, while most college kids are at beach parties for spring break, one student spending his pedaling across Oklahoma all to raise money for shoes and socks for kids in need. We'll tell you about his plan to set a world record in the name of charity when we come back. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as 14 days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Jolivet Family Farms features one of the area's largest selections of frozen seafood, including lobster tail, shrimp, scallops, North Atlantic cod loins, calamari, clams, clam strips, crawfish tails, salmon, catfish nuggets, alligator, frog legs, and seafood medley. Pick up some appetizers, french fries, onion rings, cheese curds, mac and cheese bites, and sweet potato fries. Jolivet's also has fresh produce and a homemade bakery with bread, cookies, bars, pies. Don't forget the beer or wine. All at Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. There's no better time to get started on your 2024 outdoor living project than the 2024 Early Bird Home Show, which is only at the board store. Visit our showroom, explore the possibilities, patio covers, operable pergolas. For year round living, consider the cabin room or the more traditional room. Stop in, arrange for a prompt free estimate on your 2024 outdoor living project during the 2024 Early Bird Home Show, only at the board store. Transform your skin in one simple step. Introducing Paula's Choice Mandelic and Lactic Acid AHA Liquid Exfoliant. Resurface texture and tone without irritation. 100% soft, smoother, softer, brighter skin. Available at Paula's Choice and Sephora. The 8000 Plus app. Stream on your time. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching. A Massachusetts University student is spending the next few weeks of his spring break in Oklahoma. It's not to party or vacation, instead for a bike journey for charity in an attempt to break a Guinness World Record. I am in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma right now, and I'm about to start a ride. Northeastern University PhD student and bike touring enthusiast Sam Westby is embarking on a bike ride of over 1,000 miles, which could set a world record. Not for the distance of the ride, but the shape of it. To attempt a Guinness World Record for the largest GPS drawing on a bike by an individual. This is the journey Sam is planning to take. Yes, it is the outline of a shoe, which is a clue about the other reason Sam is using his spring break for such an ambitious adventure. This whole thing's a fundraiser at the same time. Sam is partnering with the nonprofit organization Shoes That Fit to get new pairs of shoes and socks to children in the U.S. who need them. I'm trying to raise enough money for 250 pairs of shoes and socks. Sam's goal is to raise nearly $9,000. He'll be riding entirely inside Oklahoma, a state he chose because of its warmer weather and gridded roads, which make the ride safer and the drawing easier to accomplish. Today is February 28th, day zero, day one of the trip, and then I expect it to take about 14 days. Sam plans to vlog the more than 1100 mile bike trip using the hashtag stats for the nerds on his social media platforms. Stay with us, we'll have a more check of your forecast after the break. Craving authentic Mexican flavors? Look no further than Senor Villa. At Senor Villa, we bring the taste of Mexico to your table every day. Join us for our unbeatable $5 lunch specials packed with flavor and value. And don't miss our nightly specials where the fiesta never ends. 
Senior Villa, where great food meets great value. Visit us today. Senior Villa, the taste of Mexico you've been craving. Introducing Ultimate Precision LLC, your trusted partner for precision craftsmanship. From interior to exterior, our expert painters bring life to your vision with impeccable precision. Our masonry and building restoration team breathes new life into the old, preserving history for generations to come. We're the masters of tuck point, securing your structure's integrity one brick at a time. Ultimate Precision LLC, where craftsmanship meets perfection. We're here to deliver the ultimate precision. Wow, forest berry fudge is amazing. Mmm, this is melting in my mouth. Dill pickle? Whoa, that's actually good! Mmm, holy fudge. This is the best thing ever. Expressions brought to you by Valley Fudge and Candy. Find us in Coon Valley, Wisconsin, or order online today. How will you reward yourself with the benefits you'll get from Riverbank's Rewards Checking? A morning pick-me-up, a leisurely round, a special dinner, or an evening pause. This checking account comes with 3.04 annual percentage yield. There's also a refund for foreign ATM transaction fees. Stop in to one of the convenient locations or visit online to learn more about Riverbank's rewards checking. Riverbank, local banking made simple. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The First Warren Weather App. Download it today. Again, lots of sunshine this afternoon, mild, but another breezy day, highs around 56 in La Crosse. Record warmth likely this weekend, especially Sunday, 63 tomorrow, 71 on Sunday. Cold front brings some thunder shower chances late Sunday or Sunday night, some lingering showers on Monday. Will be cooler next week, but still above average highs in the low to mid 50s through Thursday, and then cooler still late in the week. Chance of showers on Friday, maybe some snow showers mixed in next Saturday. Highs dropping into the 40s. All right, Bill, thank you, and thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. We'll see you back here tonight. Have a great day.